Hi everybody, this is Tim Goose. Hope you're having a great weekend. I uh, figured I'd do a quick maintenance update. So today's on maintenance day and we'll be doing my water changes. I figure I would walk you through the maintenance routine for um, a 75 gallon acrylic. It's just like most tanks, there's a few little things that I'm gonna kind of advise you to do because it's an acrylic tank. Uh, first and foremost, I think I mentioned before, uh, scraping algae. Uh, the tank algae is actually pretty good. Uh, the water clarity has been doing really well. It's, the, it's a little bit of stuff kicked up right now, so I've been doing a little bit of a cleanup in the uh, substrate. Um, but one of the keys on this tank is the algae that you will get on the glass. And you know, I don't have a whole lot, but you got to be really careful in how you scrape this algae in there. So I actually went out and bought these uh, Continuum Aquatic Aqua Blades. They're really awesome. They have these. Uh, interchangeable blades that you can use and they have blades for glass tanks so if you have a glass tank all you gotta do is buy the glass blades uh, this is an acrylic blade so it's just a piece of plastic it kind of feels a little bit like a credit card uh, in fact I know plenty of people that need to use old credit cards to scrape their glass one thing I love about this blade though if you look at the glass and come in a little bring the camera a little closer you'll see you don't see a whole lot of algae but then as you start going down you're going to find, see those little green spots right there, and hopefully the camera's picking mm -hmm. those up. The white background of this scraper is going to do a great job helping you identify where you got to scrape. Uh, I've been scraping this thing for months now, not one scratch so far from it. Uh, you can see not a ton of algae. I think over here on this side, let me switch angles a little bit. Uh, I think I have a little more over here that I need to scrape. This side gets a little more natural light. So you can see up here at the top, I'm going to need to go through there by the pump do some scraping but yeah so pretty straightforward routine so before I start my water changes I go through I just make sure I give the glass a good scrape uh, it takes a few minutes and then uh, once I wrap this up I'll move in uh, do some uh, plant maintenance so hang on I'm just gonna keep scraping this won't make you watch all of it but I really want to show this product I'm a huge fan of uh, of how it helps me really identify the algae and scrape it off and um, not one scratch on this acrylic so far. So uh, definitely a thumbs up and definitely for anyone out there with acrylic tank, go out and get your get yourself one of these, you'll be happy you did. So the glass is now all scraped and clean of algae. Wasn't a whole lot of algae this week on the acrylic glass. Um, normally this is when I do my plant maintenance, go through and cut away uh, any old uh, dead or dying leaves or just uh, leaves I need to get rid of so I can focus on a new growth. But since I just did my CO2 setup, everything's really responding to that this week. So I'm not going to really do a whole lot of clipping this week. So I'm going to kind of skip through that part uh, and get to the rest of the maintenance cycle. So uh, first step, I'm going to go before shutting everything down, I'm going to go ahead and turn off my CO2. So this is my DIY setup I just did last week of this uh, citric acid and um, baking soda mixture. And it's been working really well. And we'll go ahead and just turn off the whole tank. So see in the back I have a nice power strip elevated for a drip loop and just a single switch to turn off for everything. So hang on. So that's now off. We'll go ahead and close off the pump. Uh, just to make sure this thing kind of keeps us prime, so I'm not going to do filter maintenance today. So um, do that once a month. I uh, just did it all two weeks ago, so the filter is good to go. Uh, so now it's just time to go ahead and drain the water. Uh, for that, I have this uh, Python system. Go ahead and hook up to the faucet, and I'll show you how that sets up in just a second. All right, so I'm ready to set up the Python system. So one of the first pieces to attach um, is the end of the Python system to your water faucet. Uh, so I'm just going to unscrew my aerator. Um, it comes with this nice attachment, and you can go ahead and I had to go ahead and buy this um, adapter that would fit to my sink, but it screws on really easily. your faucet and this just goes into that adapter so what this will do is got two settings it's got a setting to pop this up and turn it 
This will fill your tank with water when that's up. You can run water through this hose to fill your tank. Just pop it, turn it down. What this is going to do is actually force a, a suction slash siphon effect. And what I do, it uses your uh, uh, pressure from your system to kind of establish that siphon, that siphon effect. And it's going to actually siphon from the aquarium. And for me, I can, I, I can actually just turn this on, start to siphon, and then turn my water off and just siphon out of here. And that way I'm not wasting you know, water from the tap, but just a little bit of initial water to go ahead and start the siphon process. So that's this end complete. We'll go ahead and set up the other end and I'll show you yeah. that. Okay, so here's the other side of the Python system. So you can see you have an adapter here. There's all sorts of different Python parts you can buy. I just have a standard um, vac on the other side of it. And it's got a simple ball valve to go ahead and turn on or off the, um, the valve to go ahead and open up for the overall setup. So I'm just going to go ahead and drop this in and we'll use this just to drain water. I'm also, I could use this uh, to vacuum the gravel, but I tend to like this just to change the water out. I end up using my own little gravel vac uh, just to kind of get in there a little better. Uh, other thing while you're doing this, since I like to set it and forget it, is make sure you clip it. So uh, I've got my chip clip here at this point, but it works just fine. Uh, go ahead and clip that into place, and that will go ahead and ensure it doesn't really move around much while you're doing your other maintenance if you're not really paying attention and looking at some other things. Uh, but this thing is awesome. Um, we'll go ahead and turn on the pressure. And... Okay, so go ahead and start the siphon effect from the tank. So what this is doing is using my tap water to establish pressure through the hose. I'm just waiting for the tank water to get here. And you see that coming through. And now it's siphoning the tank water. And I can actually turn off the tap water and just siphon my tank water directly into here, not wasting my tap water. So really awesome. It won't go quite as fast as it would with this on, but we're trying to conserve some water here. Uh, it's pretty cool that it'll work without that. So now I'm going to go back to my overall maintenance. So I can let that go and just siphon the water out for my water change. Say I'm doing about, I don't know, 30, 40% water change. Uh, but I'm going to go through with my own little gravel vac and just do a little more uh, removal, especially around that sand. So I'm going to show you how I maintain that sand substrate. Okay, so like I said, I could just let this siphon my water out, but I'm going to do a little bit of maintenance here uh, on the sand. I'm just going to let that keep siphoning the, the main uh, water. So it's got a bucket and I'm just going to do your standard siphon. And what I really want to do is, for you guys that don't have sand out there or think about getting sand, uh, the sand substrate can get a little dirty and so what I like to do is just run this siphon just over top the sand um, make sure I get any of that detritus matter that is detritus matter that's accumulating there and especially like around here you can see I'm getting just some just some stuff that's right on top of the sand I can't really stick this in and uh, gravel back the sand just because It'll suck the sand up into the siphon, so I gotta be really careful and just go right across the top. Um, so I do this every week, just kind of get the the charged matter that's over top the sand. Uh, then about every couple weeks, I'll actually go through and stir up the sand. Uh, sand's kind of a hard thing to keep looking really clean, so I find that stirring it up will do a good job of kind of mixing in um, some of the detritus so I can better degrade and also um, uh, really letting some of it out there. So the overall water change is actually pulling some of that uh, material out there as well. The other thing about quarry cats, and they actually love it when I stir up the sand because I'm releasing all sorts of food for them uh, to the surface. So yeah, just do I do maybe one or two buckets in addition just to kind of get in there and gravel back. Um, don't have to do that, but I find it kind of helps keep things looking great. So let me go ahead and take that out. Okay, so the water's all drained in the tank, so it's time to put water back in. So uh, before you do that, you want to go ahead and make sure you have your temperature right. And um, with this Python system, so we'll go ahead and turn on the water, kind of 
feel it. I'm not using a the thermometer, but kind of playing it by feel. Plus, I've done this enough times where I kind of know the position that the hot water on to get it kind of just right. Uh, then once it's ready, you simply flip that. And so as you can see, I did about 40% water change. Uh, it's already been filling back up for a few minutes now. The pythons coming through here with the water from the tap. I'm using my stress coat to dose the water as it comes in. And you know, with how long this takes to fill up, I uh, typically will go start doing maintenance on my other tanks and just kind of let this go. That's one thing that's really nice about these Python systems. Uh, today, just kind of making a video, I'm just going to do this change and then I'll do maybe a, a nano maintenance video down the road if anyone really wants me to. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. Uh, You'll come back in just a moment with uh, everything back up and running. All right, weekly maintenance is done. So water's been changed here. Also did my nano tank in the interim. Uh, I finally can knock out this one and my five gallon uh, Fubal Edge in about an hour. Uh, I really have set myself to it each week to do both water changes and just algae scrubbing and basic maintenance. And then once a month, a little deeper maintenance on both with the filter cleaning and everything else. So. That's it. Hope you guys like it. Uh, questions, comments, leave them below. I'll be happy to get back to you. Hope everyone likes how the tank's looking. I'm really, really happy with how clear the water is. And uh, here, a little side view shot of how everything's looking. So uh, that's all for this week. Thanks for watching. I'm out, guys.